In his six seasons at Eastern Montana, Douglas had a record of 119-57 and then moved on to Cal State Bakersfield where he had a remarkable 10-year run. From 1987 to 1997, he led the Roadrunners to a remarkable record of 257-61, reaching the NCAA tournament every year and reaching the Elite Eight seven times, winning the NCAA Division II National Championship in 1993, 94, and 97. The 1992-93 team finished with a perfect 33-0 record en route to the National Championship. Douglas was named the NCAA Division II National Coach of the Year in 1993, 94, and 1997. For his 16-year small college career, he finished with an overall record of 376-118. Pat Douglas, Eastern Montana and Cal State Bakersfield, and inductee into the 2018 Class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. My wife and I feel very special to be part of this group tonight, and uh, I'm a little nervous. I, I'm retired now. I haven't uh, s spoken about 10 years, so <laughs> a little nervous getting up and speaking. But I wanted to go back and tell you a little bit about my background as to how I got into coaching. Uh, I was born in Knoxville, Tennessee, and this individual there doesn't even know he exists in my life, and that was Danny Schultz. It, they had a clinic over at the University of Tennessee, and I was able to go over and taught us ball skills and whatnot. I had a, a football coach as a basketball coach, and he said he couldn't teach me to shoot because I was left-handed. And I thought maybe I had a, a career in coaching after listening to that comment. But uh, back then, uh, we didn't get too many games on TV. And uh, I went to the movies, and they would show newsreels before the, the movies, and we saw highlights of UCLA. And I was left-handed, so my favorite player became Gail Goodrich. So all the young guys, you probably never heard of Gail Goodrich, but he, he was my idol. And so I was one of six, and we didn't have much money. So the, and back in those years, you moved to where the jobs were, and so we moved to, uh, to California. And I was fortunate. Uh, I had some great high school coaches, and uh, they would take us to the Laker games. And you know today it's really expensive, but we would sit up in the rafters and, and watch the game. But that, I noticed at halftime, the ushers would leave. So I would go down next to the court after halftime. And the thing that I, that I picked up on, especially the last two minutes of the game, which kind of sold me on wanting to continue in basketball, I, by that time I was a recruitable player, uh, was the energy. As you sat there, you saw the team, the players, become one. And it's the intensity and the involvement that made that possible was overwhelming for me. And I was fortunate to continue in, in that, that feeling because I went to the University of Pacific and one of the next steps in learning what I needed to do in coaching, my college coach, Dick Edwards, recruited big men. And our big man was uh, John Janelli, who later played for the Knicks and they won an NBA championship. Well, we never lost in three years at home. We had a, a, a state, uh, our arena was a theater downtown, and people were afraid to show up there. But we had outstanding individuals and, and players, and it, we had a nice little run. Unfortunately, as time passed, and I was a high school coach and JC coach, my college coach had later gone to Cal Berkeley and, and to Eastern Montana. He died suddenly of a heart attack. And uh, I replaced him, which was the hardest thing I ever had to do at the age of 30. And uh, I wasn't really equipped to how to handle the, the sorrow, but uh, we, we worked through it and we had some great years there. And, and uh, the last year I was there, we went to the Final Four. And in that time, you went to Springfield, Massachusetts. So we got to show the team the Hall of Fame there for uh, all athletes. And uh, it was quite an experience. But I think I'd taken a next step in my coaching in that I started – playing possessions in that I, start, I taught the players we need to play for 40 minutes and it would take a whole year. And so I, I left Eastern Montana and went to Cal State Bakersfield and they'd been back to the uh, Elite Eight but not have won a national championship. So there was pressure in the community to, to win a national championship. And I started the penetration game. Now we see a lot of penetrations but back then, it's like 25 years ago, we started getting some athletes and penetrating the lane, and we always played pretty good defense. So we, we, we got on a good run. And the, the community supported us in that when we came home from winning, going 33-0, and 0, there were 5,000 people at the airport. There was parades, and it's nothing like I'd ever experienced. So that, that run there was the highlight of my career. But it was accumulation of 
being around good players, good coaches, and to people have taken an interest in me and in, in my life and, and as, a, as a high school person and in college. So again, tonight I feel very blessed to be a part of this group. I, I'm going to go home with my wife and I'm going to figure out some things I can do better to help society because there's, there's so much love in the, in, in the house tonight of what people are doing with their lives that we all need to kind of step up a notch. So again, thank you very much.